Hello everybody, Jet here, Team Jet here, and welcome back to our Dowizar, or Chaos Dwarf playthrough in uh, Total War Warhammer 3. As before, big thank you to CA for the early access, and today I am, as last time, I'm playing uh, Draz Hraf, Draz Hraf, Fred, Draz, I'm just calling him Draz, I keep saying that, and, and Tom, Tom is over on the other side of the map playing as? As back as the tallest dwarf. Um, the High Priest of Hashut, uh, Astragoth, Iron Hand, and is currently braving his way towards a friendly Dragon Ogre and <laughs> a certain respectable Greenskin for yeah. some respectable extra labor. Former, no, 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 you're recovering an escaped laborer. <laughs> yes, no, uh, they need, we need to run back Cause, to cause Grimgor, get back working. Because Grimgor was... So the Black Orcs lore, they are, they come from the Chaos Dwarfs. Um, they were Chaos Dwarf slaves, so yeah, so he is a... Yeah, what? He they is were Chaos Dwarfs? Laborers. Laborers. Uh, yeah. Laborers. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube, please don't demonetize me for saying that word. <laughs> anyway, um, and as we have got, as I, we didn't do last time and I kept mentioning, we've got a massive list of name requests, so I'm, I'm using one of the names. We have my uh, range specialist is becoming the Grumpy Dowizar. Right, and I believe my turn is uh, done. I think mine is too, actually. I've got a little bit of leveling up to do, so. Now, do I get the cool spells to start with, or do I buff my army? It's such a tricky one with these mixed um, specialists. I highly recommend getting Killing Fire first. Yes. So Killing Fire is just powerful, guys. It's basically, I do damage every time I cast a spell. Yep. Uh, I'm just trying look. to check what's the what... curse of a shut. I'm going to grab the curse of a shut as well. I'm I'm basically going to go down spells early. Wrong, yeah. yeah. It doesn't say what type of damage the killing fire is because I would have thought is it fire damage? I I don't know. Up the missile strength of the grumpy Dowie's are. And let's actually get myself another unit of shielded Dowie in there. And some extra laborers. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm resisting the urge to build another strip mine because I think I will struggle for labor very quickly if I do that. Because uh, I've only got 500 labor. It's tricky to work out how much labor you're actually going to reduce each term. Because it tells you what the workload is, but that doesn't necessarily tell you how much labor it uses. Yeah. Well, by the way, I've just sneakily renamed two of my units. Oh, go on. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> I've got a flying cow called Super Sheep. <laughs> and I have renamed one of the Dwarven Warriors with a really tall hat, Biggest Hatters. For te oh, as a temporary as name a temporary. Place. He's going to be promoted to a lord, is he? Oh, I've got the whole yes. region thing. I can make rushing cheaper. Uh... And reduced building cost is very, very useful. Good early game, yeah. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we want to get our towers built to built as big as our hats. Yes. Have you exactly. spoken to Slanesh yet? I think it's Slanesh. Uh, not pers not on a personal <laughs> terms, no. If you speak to any <laughs> of the Slaneshy lords, I believe they go. I like your really tall hat. Oh, <laughs> Are you compensating no. for something? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have I have I have had that what, interaction with them. Oh, I can and make the drill bigger. That's, is is the drill actually useful The now? drill is very very good. Oh, and it gives me everything. Like, do you yes. get them in every um No. Only your capital. Only your capital. But now, it's going to use I... almost all of my um Materials. It's worth it. Yeah, no, that is. I mean, the the extra two hundred materials a turn. Well, extra one hundred. It just double. It goes to oh, yeah. twenty. Doubles yeah. your arm. It, now, do yeah. I want to? Do I want to rush it? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think I do. If you've got a spare labor, yes. Uh, I've, I've 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 kind of screwed my labor a bit, which you can do, guys. There you go. You can screw your labor efficiency. Um. I am going to move to attack Saber Mountain. Some tasty, tasty ogres. I need to decide who I'm attacking next. But uh, let's see. I'm not going to call you to war. 
Because I think, I think Grimmy used to start there. I think he did as well. Now, it's a decisive victory of low casualties. And I don't have any losses. I think I might just auto it because... Makes sense. I think it'd be a bit of a... Again, sorry things are a bit blurred on Tom's screen. It's because I'm having to upscale it to 1440. And uh, we're having to use a different method for streaming his screen to me, unfortunately, than we used to. One day. One day, <laughs> we'll actually work out. We'll actually manage to record in the same place and just have it directly plugged into my PC. Well, <laughs> we can dream. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, that that would be the best way of doing it. Unfortunately, we live over an hour away from each other. <laughs> just about, it's isn't it? Fine. Yeah, just 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 about. <laughs> right. Let's go. Country terms me. is just so down the road. Who do I go? I mean, everybody in America is like, and <laughs> <laughs> who do I go to war with next? I don't like this bit of the map in the Immortal Empires map. There's too many entrances to my territory. <laughs> Aww. I think, to be fair, I probably want to go for Crookback, don't I? And Mount Greyhag. Well, Get rid of a Skaven early. That I or I go south. Because Pig Barter's a real pain for you. Uh... I would say, yeah, Mount Greyhag. Mount Greyhag makes the most sense. And then pulling round south to uh, Ash Ridge Mount and the High Elves. Because the High Elves will declare war on you. I mean, it's to not be fair, then, I should probably go for them first. Because they're more of a threat. Um, and the Skaven, I may be able to stay friends with. And the uh, Greenskins, I may be able to stay friends with. I could just go straight for the Plain of Bones. I just don't think you can handle the High Elves with your labourers. Is the only thing. Yeah. Because if I go to Crookback, go to Mount Greyhag, I may as well take out the Skaven early. I I think if you can take out the Skaven early, yeah. because otherwise you're going I'm, to... Um... I'm going to push up towards Mount Greyhag because they only have a single region there. But yeah. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm all done on my end. Okay, I'm just upping my defenses in my main settlement because I don't want to lose it. Uh, by the way, I took Saber Mountain as a tower. Okay. And I have very good reasons for claiming towers, especially as uh, the tallest dwarf, because towers give the most conclave influence. Yes. And because I get a perk which gives me an extra 10% conclave influence. But also where it is, it's a really good defensive point. Yes. Although, hopefully, I wouldn't lose the upper settlements before that. Nice. Okay, so my next tech is going to be called to war to buff my Dowie Czar. And more importantly, military convoys. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get a convoy going. So these work how they do for... Fairly similarly to how they do for the... Um, Cafeans, other than you get different things from them. So first thing, do I want an ogre controller or connected? Connected just gets more units. I think connected. That's a really solid force. So you hire him, and then you send him on his way. And different places give different things. So if I turn into the Hall of Greasus, I spend some money and I get some labor. <laughs> There's only one thing I'm sending it for. Labor. Extra labor. <laughs> Literally, guys. What? Did you did you lose? Uh... I, it went weird. Ah, because I've just literally just dispatched my convoy. Ah, I think it broke mine. I click. I was literally clicking the button, and it suddenly stopped. It was like what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so yeah, and it takes a few turns, and you get various events and things on the way. Um, yeah. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's let's go for Mount Greyhag. I won't call you into this. Nor that it really matters as they have a single settlement. You know, every little helps. Look at the map. Nah, I'm just going to auto this decisive victory. Outpost or factory? Outpost or factory? That is the question. You're going to go outpost again, aren't outpost. you? Outpost. Yeah. I'll trust you. I'll trust you for now. Even though I can't afford to do anything with them. 
Yeah, but you do get quite a bit of, uh, you know, um, oh, what's the word? With all the extra labor, you'll be able to then, sorry, all the extra res materials, you'll be able to upgrade your towers. I can't get the extra materials because I don't have enough labor. Get more labor. <laughs> I really should probably uh, get the... I'm actually... I know what I'm doing in the other build. One of my ones, I'm getting the uh, building so I can actually get hobgoblins rather than laborers. Yeah, I... I'm trying to decide with the hobgoblins. Do I want to prioritize the sneaky ones or the cutthroats? Because the sneaky ones have a extra ranged attack and stalk. Whereas the... I'm all done, by the way. It's over to you. Normal ones are sort of better at holding a line. I've not really looked I'm... at them too much, if I'm honest. I mean, they're... I would... I'd say hobgoblins should be your more sneaky sneaky. You know, your dwarves should be your line. That's the thing. Keyword there. Should. Though, once we've got the legendary hero, assuming we get him in we're playing co -op, he basically buffs the um, hobgoblin armies immensely. Oh, yes. Right, yeah, I'm done as well. Now, the thing I'm really hoping for is that I can make friends with the uh, very friendly Dragon Ogre and get him to supply me with uh, extra labor for my uh, no, endeavors. That, that is the other thing I find early. You need to be ultra aggressive because... You need to, you need to lay your claim to territory and then you need to make friends. Uh -huh. I have everyone. a backstabber. Backstabbers. Together with your cooperative ally, uh, maintain eight of his following units. Oh, you got the quest for it. I got the quest for it, but I've also already unlocked him. Yeah, because you've got the units. So, okay, yeah, you got him. <laughs> but do you get him as well? Nope. <laughs> I should be perfectly honest, I'm not a fan of hobgoblins anyway, so I'm not fussed not having him. However... You know what's funny? Hmm? I don't have the units I needed to yeah. complete the quest. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to show you because I've unlocked the Tower of Tsar. And I have because to. I've got. Yeah, I am going straight for extra materials. Uh, sorry, what, what is it you're going for? Hang on, wait one second. I'm not going to troll you. <laughs> so you can, guys, on the Tower of Tsar, if I wanted to, I could literally kick him off that thing for enough, th enough things. And that's very much how this is done. Um, once you've unlocked two full things, you move up a tier to get all these things for the seats. So which seats do I want? You've pretty much got the best one. Well, it's early game it is by far the best one. Campaign but moves in red. what oh, I really like, yeah. I like the ones which give you an extra, a random follow or banner every mm. three turns. I'm just looking at all the things. Uh, for you, you probably want to go for the armaments. Yeah. I was also looking at the replenishment, though. Replenishment is good. <laughs> good Cuts. That... Oh, I was going to say, what's he doing now? Immediately causes wall breaches while... Oh, that military district. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going for the armaments. Oh, I can't... I... While it's unlocked, I can't actually claim it yet. Enough. It's just unlocked yeah. because of you. Okay. I'm 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 contemplating whether it's actually sensible we going for Tretch yet because he's got a big ass army there. <laughs> Make friends for Tretch. Why would I want to do that? I'm falling back and getting some hobgoblins. And I am going to initiate war with uh, the Tusked Sons. I love that name. No. Declare war, and I am not calling you in. So, Hobgoblins versus Greenskins. Close victory. I am just going to auto this because I want to wipe cool. out the settlement. Cool. Yeah, do it. Yeah, that's, the, that's a good way of doing it. And extra, <laughs> extra labor or replenishment? 
Hmm. Hello, Labour. Labour. <laughs> Who needs them in my armies? <laughs> Why ask that question? Yeah, I'm, I'm recruiting some hobgoblins into my army now. I'm basically going to replace a lot of my Labour with hobgoblins. So I've just fallen Quarry back for a turn. Um, and I am... I'm being really cheeky and just constantly yeah, rushing... Uh, all I, my, my strip mines. I don't when I get have access enough labor to, to do it. Well, you should be able to move round. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm burned through my labor too quickly. Yeah, you're probably rushing a few too many. No, 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 as in, I've, I've only rushed one thing. I'm losing too much labor per turn to really get away with um, building. I've not even had been able to build a second strip mine yet. Uh, that's that's definitely a bit painful. Uh, actually, I'm just trying to decide, have I got enough to recruit? Oh, I think I'm going to get rid of my last labourer in my army and recruit another hobgoblin. You are you are definitely doing better than me at the moment. I might I might have to leave Tretch for now, but oh oh oh. So the elves oh. to the south have gone aggressive. They've taken oh. out some of the Dowie. They've taken oh. out the uh, Helheim. That's not what we want to hear. New thing is, if I get rid of Tretch, because Tretch is a pain in the butt early game. Uh, I'm trying to see if I'm gonna can do some diplomacy with the. Oh, I've got a trade agreement with the Skaven, for, who are. I have no idea where they are. North of you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> in ca in Karakdom. But I'm gonna end the turn there. By the way, technology wise. I have decided I am going for a thing which improves my diplomatic relations with people. Ooh, it's not bad, actually. Because with the positioning I'm in, if I can start... Because I th I feel with the Chaos Dwarves, you can kind of just turtle up and trade with people. Oh, you can. I mean, they're, they're kind of meant to be a bit of a Cold War mentality. They're not really fighting massive wars. No, because their caravans... What I've noticed is they sort of, they feel quite squishy. By the way, saying that, one of my caravans has been ambushed. Oh, I'm going to say fight something's it. happening. It's uh, auto. Yeah. Back to my screen then. I was like, what's going on? Why can't I click anything? Best thing though, more labor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I can hire some ogres. I actually want them. I don't want to waste the money at the moment, though. They're man eaters. They're really good, but I don't want to waste the money because I want to change up my army a bit. Oh, I have flooding. Yeah. I always oh. hate that when you get the things which. Oh, no, it's not actually in my territory. That's um, weird. Look, uh, if you look where my legendary He's lord is, I mean, if you look just to the south of him. There's a nice 19 stack with a black orc big boss. With a laborer, an escaped laborer. <laughs> go go pick up that escaped laborer, man. I am going to, but oh I'm terrified. <laughs> right, I am slowly rejigging my force. Right, tech, 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 tech. Hollow rounds is good as well. Buffs my um, uh where would you like an extra garrison? In the Black Fortress? Probably my capital. Yeah. Honestly, let's, let's... I'm not entirely sure on my tech yet. Uh, where I want to go. I'm, I'm a bit all over on it. I'm going to go for the tallest tower for the extra control. What a endrini! Uh, I, I can now get something in the Tower of Tsar. The... Penalties and buffs that Chaos Doors get for uh, control in their region seem underwhelming. Hmm. Because you know how some you don't want it, but even with even with Dark Elves, they nerfed it massively because it was a bit too OP. We need to fight a battle, by the way. <laughs> well, there is a certain Grimgor. Within, uh, <laughs> and Colex Sun Eater as well. Within, uh, yeah, have fun. <laughs> you chose, you chose literally one full stack to the north, one full stack to the south. <laughs> you, you, you 
chose that start. You chose it. Um. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. I can get beasts, but I lose cargo. I would take beasts. Every it's, single, it's, it's any a single time. feral mammoth. Uh, but I get less labor back. Yeah, no, no. It, it, one which cost me money, I wasn't gonna do. But I am very pro. Any time you can get something which increases your army size with the caravans, go for it. Because your caravans don't disappear unless they get destroyed. Is Rinkus the Dishman? Right, I'm just slowly repl replacing. I'm basically slowly gob hob replacing my laborers with hobgoblins. And I'm going to be actually, I've still got a couple of laborers in there, but I'm going to be going on the warpath soon. Wah! I'm, I'm going to have to take a labor action to push up my control. Yeah, no, that's the labor actions are actually really useful. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm running out of labor though. <laughs> I'm gonna move to take Blizzard Peak whilst you're deciding. And it's just against green skin. Oh, I've already done it. I'm uh, I'm also about to uh, activate Frenzy on my uh, guys because I can afford to now and it's not gonna run out of stuff. And I that have my second run. full province. Nice. I don't. I'm. I'm gonna start on the uh, Skaven next. Um, I may regret it, but I think if I can take them out, it's really solid for me, and then I can focus down on the Elf Boys. Now I can't decide whether to put perks into fervent fodder for the extra leadership and then melee defense. That's for... kind of why I'm going down the down the um, spell route. route because then I yeah. can avoid making that decision. <laughs> I know, that's exactly what my exact thoughts were as well. Um, and then later on, I can focus on the Dowie Zar stuff. When it's going to benefit me more. A spell which reduces the speed of enemy units. Do you think it's worthwhile? I'm looking at Ash Storm. Oh, God, no. Use, um, get the... Oh, yeah, you've got the weird thing. So yeah. for you, actually, potentially, yes, Ash Storm is potentially useful. Because it's either that or the Flaming Sword. Hang on, if Kindle Fire, Flaming Sword is actually crap. I've seen people do the maths on it. It's really not worth it. If Killing Fire is flame damage, that and Kindle Flame combined. Yeah, I know. That's why I hovered over Kindle Fire, but it doesn't do what type of damage it is. I don't think it is mm. fire damage. I'd, I'd, I'd just go for Ash Storm to get yourself into the next tree. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit heartbreaking, but you know. But oh yeah, by the way, Dark Sacrifice, reducing the winds of magic cost by nine for the Hellhammer oh, upgraded. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> it becomes the only spell. I get the one which is the uh, reverse, the explosion from the ground I get a buff to. I can't think of which one that is. Oh, I haven't got that one. As my laws. <laughs> Clan, Clan Rictus. Yeah, because you're a mixture of fire yeah. and... Clan Rictus wants a peace treaty with me. It's time to strike. Ooh, I have Colex Sun Eater in my territory in March Dance. Are you brave enough? Are you brave enough? Or I don't foolish think... enough. <laughs> uh, I've got the green skin scaring warm me. I'm not... Oh, I am so screwed right now. I'm not calling you in. Kolek does not necessarily, because you are a chaos faction, so Kolek's not necessarily going to be aggressive at, at, at you. Yeah, but it's just with him moving straight into my territory. I might see if I can buy a non-aggression pact with him. I can't. I don't have enough. How much would you need? What, what does all your money get you to? Let's see. Let's find out. Would a thousand more do it? Uh, no, it needs to be two thousand more. Ah, uh, okay. Dash. Over to my screen. <laughs> You're screwed. It's... Risky. Although Grimgore's moved away. So Tretch has foolishly gone to war with some other people. Oh, no. So I think I'm in a good situation to hit him. Oh, my, this, this is tricky. You see, I should have gone to some factory buildings for some more income. 
Yeah, but the that once again uses materials. Yeah. That's that's the. Uh... I'm getting one of the bog standard uh, income buildings going. Actually. Oh, my oh. convoy came back. It's like, why have I suddenly gained labor? I'm confused. Can't afford a second convoy at the moment. I think I'm going to attack Kolek because if I, uh, it's showing force disparity as slightly in my favor. And with him being in march stance. Swap over to your screen. I'm in um, diplomacy, by the way. His army, though, is does have three units of dragon ogres yeah, and two things of chaos. It's it's a tricky one. Let's see your army. <laughs> Hobgoblins. <laughs> I, I reckon you could win, but it's whether it's worth it. You know what? I'm gonna move in, and I'm probably gonna auto this because I am. Good yeah. luck. You're gonna have to go straight for his settlement afterwards to try and finish him off. Once I'm not calling all. you to war. I mean, if you could finish him quickly, that's actually really solid for you, and you will be bordering Zatan, which is useful. I only use two, lose two units. Go for it. Ah. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Okay, I literally just got a pop up. I got the bones of more, and my uh, ah, my convoy gained a unit of man eaters. Nice. And, oh, I can recruit a regiment of renown. Oglak Khan's wolf boys. Yeah, I would. I know you've also at War Grimmy, but Grimmy's busy with other people. I would go straight to the challenge stones next turn to finish that them off. That is exactly what I am doing. And then you are literally able to talk to Zatan. Yeah. Oh, that was terrifying. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I think I better unlock Hellhammer. Nice. I'm done, by the way. Now, oh, this is one of the things I really like to look up. So for the Bull Centaur, uh, you get a separate choice of, you know, different perks like uh, the, engineer, the engineer does. One of them being giving you murderous charge and the other one giving you guardian. Guardian every time. Well, not necessarily, because the upgrade then, the for the murderous charge, gives you plus 10 melee attack and plus 20% weapon strength. Whereas the one from Guardian gives plus 30 armor and plus 10 Guardian. melee defense. Yeah, for defense, every time, defense. Defense keeps you alive so you get a chance to do more damage. All every, right. Defense is always better. In fact, defense even beats, phys potentially beats physical resistance if it's a large amount. Anyway. I'm, I'm all done. Yep, I'm just recruiting another unit of... So you're replacing your dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, replacing my... Uh, I'm trying to think of a correct terminology for them. Uh, <laughs> my resources. I'm replacing my resources. Yes? <laughs> well, screw you, Tretch. I, I, I was, I was going to go to war with you next turn anyway. <laughs> Stretch Craven Tail just went to war with me. Which is Ooh. funny, because last turn he asked for a non aggression pact with me. So. And he's fighting army... somebody else. And I've got an open line to his capital. Sorry, you were saying? Yeah, I was trying to say the army which was at the See Challenge the Stone. Has double timed round to try and get to. <laughs> We're gonna fight this. Sorry, I've I've gone straight at Crookback Mountain. Uh, Tretch went to war with me, leaving his capital wide open for me. I know it's it's a victory, but I think we need to fight something this session. So. Well, you say that. <laughs> oh. I hate fighting Skaven. <laughs> oh, 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 their reinforcements aren't even on the map, but I think their reinforcement is literally a law lord. I had this the other day in a pl uh, messing around. No, it's in my Boris playthrough. 
I can't remember which playthrough it was, but I've had a couple of occasions recently where I've just been able to cheese reinforcements as they came onto the map. It was hilarious. I know Raponce, what I had, they came for a tiny, tiny, tiny little choke point with their reinforcements. And by the time they got there, I'd finished off the other army. So literally, it was just a line of Grail Guardians sitting there, waiting for them. Uh, by the way, it's a Lord and a unit of infantry. Oh no, how would we possibly cope? So I'm going to give you the sneaky well, boys. I was going to suggest exactly that. If you leave one side completely empty with the sneaky... No, no, you are, you are the goblin, in fact. You are basically the hobgobbers. Um, can I suggest you keep the archers? Okay. Uh, because remember of the whole buff that they get to morale by being next to your dwarves. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, yeah. Which side should I attack from? I um, if you here. take the stuff back except for the sneaky gits, because I was going to place them, because with them having stalk and vanguard deployment. Yeah, but no, I, I, I don't really want to control the whole army, if you see what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Um, was, where are you going, planning on attacking from? Because where's the most direct route to the center? It's a horrible one, this. Um... I would say, yeah, where you are is probably the best place to sneak in. Well, I was actually going to say, I'm going to leave these, I'm going to save this half for ambushing the Lord. Oh. Oh, okay, oh, no, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. It doesn't really make much difference. I'll, I'll move up one. And then as soon as the Lord's ambushed, Although I'll utilize the Kadai just straight to destroy the gate so we don't have to. Yeah, this should be uh, interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm set up. I'm good to go. Ish. Obviously, be careful with the Kadai. Yeah. <laughs> now, interestingly, they've actually got units where I put my units with Stork. Yeah, they're much smarter now. But actually, okay, that's a lot of units. I'm going to wait until they start moving. Are your units with Stork still hidden? Yeah, they're yep. still hidden. I mean, that's fine if they want to sit there. No, the AI is much more... They, they seem to be much more thinking about where they place things. I do find that funny, though. Yeah, I'm basically going to not move them until... ...the enemy stop moving. <laughs> do you see where they spawned their clan rats? <laughs> I didn't, but I, I just looked. <clears throat> Let's go, you uh, backstabber. That's curse of has shut some of their units. I want to see how powerful it is, basically. <laughs> Oh, the blunderbosses are quite arced. Are they? Yeah, oh, no, look at you're looking at the at archers. Them. Oh, oh, it's just they shoot fiery rounds. I was getting confused. Yeah, yeah no, that I really like the hobgoblin archers because of the fact they have flaming ammunition. I'm not going over walls. I don't want to waste the uh, vigor, so I'm just going to break the gates. Oh, I'm having the... Uh, the friendly orc laborers. Oh. They're really wanting to get these reinforcements through. Yeah, it, it's so funny because they've just realized that maybe where they defended wasn't the best idea and they can't actually get to me quite that easily. <laughs> They're still not moving the reinforcements. 
Yeah, they know something's there. They are Skaven. They, they, <laughs> they know how, how sneaky stuff works. By the way, I have wiped out their reinforcements. I am through the gate. Oh, they're moving. Their reinforcements are moving. Oh, that was... Sorry, I saw a gate destroyer. I thought, oh, is it my gate they're, destroyed? They're running up the walls towards where I'm pushing in. It's quite <laughs> funny. I mean... The only danger about the f burning wrath is it, it can hit your own units quite badly. <laughs> yes, and uh, let's not mention any people's targeting skills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one of my units of hobgoblins running away. Right, I'm going to bring my sneaky gits into play now, just to try and distract. Yeah, they are beginning to move. Yeah. But I like the fact the AI doesn't just man one place anymore. Oh, completely. My range is utterly shredding things. It's so much fun. All right, I'm just trying to get on and capture some of their points because the towers are being... Yeah. Quite irritating, to say the least. But that's that's one of the things about... The well, whirlwind fireball -y thing, I keep forgetting what it's called. Oh! Okay, don't... Don't fire Burning Wrath on a bridge. Oh, it goes underneath. I don't know what happened, but it didn't work. It could have been a miscast, I guess. I really like the fire glaives because you'll, it looks like shooting lasers. By the way, uh, the sneaky gits are capturing the walls but are still hidden. Oh, yeah, yeah, it does kind of look like... Uh, Lasers. I see what you mean. Almost capture point. There we go. Ah, capture the point. curse of her shut is more designed for single characters. Yeah, point point capturing is so useful in yes. sieges, just because obviously get rid of the towers and the blockers. I am ripping them apart as they try and get across this bridge. And I am approaching from a alternative direction. I'm uh, just coming to try and give you some uh, your orc laborers some support from the bridge. Yeah, that would be very. That's why I didn't bring any of my other units to actually. Support them. It's definitely very much. I've taken the low ground, you've taken the high ground. I'm just I think my charge. guys are hitting your guys as much as my uh, theirs, but I don't care. I mean, they are laborers. Exactly. Oh, wow. I did not realize the uh, point that the sneaky ones are attacking from is actually the most direct route to the yeah, that's central, that's... the victory well, location. You literally asked me and I told you that. Uh, pull your laborers back a bit to get, give me a bit more of an arc onto the scale, please. Uh, they're almost routing anyway. Oh, 
Here you go, this should give you a fantastic firing. Yeah, I'm just repositioning them slightly. They seem to be struggling to shoot off the bridge. Well, because they don't stand too close to the edge because of the different skills of construction. Yeah, my guns seem to struggle shooting off this edge. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that's what unfortunately the uh, Chaos Wolves are definitely going to struggle with is arcing. Yeah, the, the arc's not bad. I think they should be able to shoot. I think it's just the game being a bit. Yeah, I'm moving right. a couple of units out to one of the camps. I seem you see where the... Also, why do the Kadai Fireborn only have 30% fire resistance? 35%, I mean. I don't know. Make them not too OP, I guess. <laughs> oh, my hobgoblins are absolutely shredding them. That's the thing. The hobgoblin archers are actually... I mean, especially if you consider pitting them against... Um, oh, what's it called? Um, yeah. Undead. Or things with regeneration. Oh, God. Undead. They were absolutely... Yeah. Which was part of the reason why I was almost tempted to say you should go for um, attacking wise the uh, the caravan. Mm. It's it's a little bit. It's not right next to me. On the other map, it would be right next to me. It's over. Oh no, it's not quite over. It's getting. No, it's there, not. Though. Most of their units the, uh, I engage are now beginning to instantly run away though. The Kadai are taking a lot of damage from the towers. Yeah. I might have to get them to route soon. Ah, uh, no. Don't don't risk. We don't need them here. I, I see Kadai as being very glass cannony. I'm going to give them back to you because I don't want to make the decision over whether to... Just get them out. Oh, you got, how far forward have you pushed them? They were, there was no other units there when I pushed them. Yeah, that's the problem. Get them out. Yeah. I'm getting them out. There we go. Luckily, they've got a good speed. But it was just the towers just... Oh. Yeah. Towers do seem to be a bit worse than they used to be, to be fair. There we go. Uh, just break them now and they'll go off the map to the side. Will they? Yeah. All right. They go off the closest point, which is why people route route behind bloody walls sometimes, which is infuriating. <laughs> yeah, I've got them routing. Yeah, it's just because obviously I know how good. A no, unit they you, you are shouldn't to be able to. As an attacker, you shouldn't be able to route off inside the uh, inside the city. It's, you should have to make your way out. Are you about to cap the main cat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I was uh, moving the sneaky ones around for. It's just unfortunately they moved a lot slower than I thought. Oh, they so, would. So, some Skaven trying to m move in behind my ranged. It's not going to go well for them, is it? Oh. 
Well, the thing is, the hobgoblins are actually, they're really not bad. Oh, no, I'm talking about my blunderbusters. No, it's but over. I mean, there we go. Still a close victory, but I thought it would yeah. be fun to fight one. Could I fireball and kick butt? I mean, they took a lot oh, of yeah. damage, but yeah. I mean, yeah. Then my dwarf warriors did fantastically too. Well, I weirdly I mean, find they should do. myself using dwarf warriors a lot more for the chaos dwarves than I would be for normal dwarves. Really? If that makes sense. They're really good for even normal dwarves. Ah, uh, it's just normal. You get long beards. Yeah. I, and they're they're not that. You know, they're sort of the same. They're just dwarf warriors, except better without not much extra cost. You see, what's funny is a lot of people won't use. A lot of people don't use long beards. They just don't think it's worth it at that level. They just wait until they can get iron breakers. To be fair, iron breakers are ridiculous, but they have. <sighs> and then you've got hammerers, which, you know, it's hammer time. Yeah. Like. <laughs> anyway, we're going to end this one here because we've been going for quite a bit. Uh, so, as always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this. Uh, tower? Sorry, should I take this as a tower? Yes. Yeah. I was thinking I probably should, but... Oh, oh, it went weird then. It didn't take it for a second. Anyway, as I was saying, we're going to end this one here, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this. And as always, an extra special thank you to my channel members and patrons. Monster Bound, Philip F, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Kotaru, Brandon, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason F, Egg, and Jared Horn. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Cheers, all.